necessarily trust Harlow. <clears throat> so does the... Did Lord Duloc have any bad dealings with the Scribes Guild as well, by chance? No, he was on... He knew Scribe Jonah very well. Why mm. do you ask? I was just, just curious as all. Uh, I did find a, a letter with the Scribe Seal insignia, insignia on the actual document. Uh, it's, it's quite burnt and... Uh, Actually, out of context, I did look at it. So, did I notice anything else about uh, just from the seal, or I can't? Um, it had it had a number on it. It said uh, like two of three. Two of two three. Of... Yeah. So, hmm. There's no There's no... no key inside this uh, envelope or anything. Cause that's no, it's not, it's not even an envelope. It was literally just a piece of parchment. It was piece just of a paper. piece of parchment? Okay, that's cool. Yeah, like the rest of it had been burnt. Okay, that's interesting. Where can uh, she says that the, Jonah be found? He, uh, his shop is uh, a couple blocks to the east. Um, you can't miss it. It's got a big sign over it with a uh, book and a quill. I've got another question <clears throat> for you. You wouldn't happen to know if he had any visitors before the incident. Well, he's the lord of the... He, he was the lord of the city. He had he often had a lot of visitors. I hadn't seen him in hey, what's a up, Marius? days before this happened. How so you doing, man? I'm not man? sure exactly who he may have seen in that time. Um, we, as I said, we get, we're kind of arguing over who we wanted to have come to the town to, disc to investigate the shrine and we weren't really on speaking terms the past couple of days. But he keeps his visitors uh, written down, right? His servants may know better than I would. Well, welcome to the channel there, Micro Miniature. Glad to have you. How about you guys? Do you think so? Feel free to hang out. Uh, follow the channel if you don't right, mind. And gather some XP points. So I think it's a new system should, that's uh, been implemented this, this week. This, uh, uh, so Jonas after after a couple of weeks of everyone it, accruing points, to we're going to start that, doing uh, some trying to take uh, down raffles and point bidding on adventures and everything. Or, so yeah, Lord Duloc, usually I run the games in the channel, but tonight is a viewer hosted game uh, from one of our viewers named Zaven. So uh, he's doing a really good job. I'm enjoying it. And if so, if we're and here's another lotto, guys, so yeah. make sure you get into that this. Right, right? Documented. Yep. Exclamation point, buy ticket, guys. This is the, uh, uh, I, I, we, we, the uh, one of the last lottos of the night, Jonah, so make sure you get in. The guy, the Lord Godfrey. Uh, it only costs five of your points. Winner takes all after 30 minutes. We can ask some more questions if we know who to talk to. Uh, Lord Godfrey or Jonah? Uh, before they go through the mines blindly. Lady Varen, would we have your permission to actually uh, view the body of Lord Duloc as well? Yes, that's that's fine. Um, Harlow... Goalie guy, what's up? He's normally the one that you'd have to go through for that, but I'll override him. Just let them know that... Um, Lady Varen Marcosia has given you leave to see it. He's in the coroner's office at the morgue. Okay. She gives you directions to that, too. So you guys basically have five things you could go do right now. So, yeah, if you could, if you find out anything, Lady, uh, could you please send a messenger? We'll be around town at one of the five locations that we need to go to, so... <laughs> <laughs> Gladly, and vice versa. If you get any closer to figuring this out, please let me know, because my life may be in danger as well. Uh, will do. Before we leave, lady, uh, one thing. Uh, I don't know if you answered whether you had a key for this box that was found at the shrine or not. Not like it. Make sure you guys get into the lottery, guys. She's like, yes, I have one of them. Bitch, you better hand that key Maybe over. Had one. H. Me, <coughs> Morgan, and Derek. Was Derek the box Golfrey. ever opened? 
No. Then how do you know the keys go to the box? We found them together. In the shrine, there was a big altar that the box right on, was guy. And three lesser altars with the key on each one of them. We're uh, not raffling off anything. Just okay. make sure you get into the lottery. Can we have your key? It's a way to get some quick points. It costs you five of your points, no. and the winner takes all after 30 minutes. Where's your key? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll raffle off my beard, and then she, I'll put um, it in a box. That would be unbelievably horrible. She says, I don't really think that you need to know where I have my key. <clears throat> I just I don't think that the keys in the box should be anywhere near each other, so I don't trust to have you having the key while also having the box. Which is the reason why we split up the box with split up the keys anyway. anyway. Well that's I didn't know where to go with the box, so no. well that's a problem because if we don't know what we're looking for, which might be in the box, <coughs> how can you think we can solve this issue? If it comes to the if it comes to the situation that you need to open the box to serve the murder, goalie guy, to solve the murder, then I'll God, goalie guy, go you'll be able to get in. But there's 24 the minutes moment, left. You get a point a minute. One key anyway. So a couple uh, minutes, you'll know. be able to get in. Dulak still had his. So just his be patient, goalie guy. If it was taken when he was murdered, and I don't know, and Golfrey should still have his. So I don't mean to be too blunt, ma'am. But you're hiding something, aren't you? Aren't we all? I don't. I'm not. I'm not hiding anything that will impede you in doing what you're hired to do. Yeah, it's like a point every five, every couple minutes, guys. That's hearsay from now. Exclamation point, James, That's in front of it, bud. She's like, there I'm you not, go. I'm not going anywhere, so. You can believe me, I'm not, I'm not leaving my town. But, lady, you might not leave the town alive. You said that before. Do you have extra security here? What was that? You broke up there, dude. Do you have extra security here to protect you? Or just the servants? They're not just servants, sir. I see. I can't stay with her, so... You said she looks good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I get it now. Bum bum bum. Yeah, everybody, welcome to the well, to the channel all, tonight. Thank you for it. all the follows. This we is a viewer hosted game. So this is not one of my normal campaigns. Where should we go first? Uh, well, I, I'd like to, once we get out of the the actual estate, I would like to actually ask the group if, if we could actually go back to the scene of the crime, uh, because I, I pull out the, the actual scroll that I had found, and it says that uh, two of three. So we know that we need three keys for this box. So I'm thinking maybe, uh, seeing that this was in the fireplace, Maybe the key, uh, maybe we should search the fireplace a little bit better, and maybe we'll find another key. That's just that's a, a, that's a, it's yeah, a hunch that I have. While we're there, I'll, uh, uh, they can talk to the that, service. Um, oh, sorry. Service. I'll interject uh, the, two the, of, two. the two of three, it was like a copy number thing. Like, this is copy one of three, this is copy two of three, this is copy three of three. You've seen that kind okay. of... Uh, Things written on scroll on uh, documents and things before. Okay. So. so it was basically the second copy of three scrolls. Scrolls, basically, then, right? Three right. identical scrolls. All right. My bad on that. I was trying to play Inspector no Gadget. Well, it's up to you guys. I mean, we got plenty of things we need to do. We need to speak to uh, Derek Golf Golfer still. We need to uh, inspect the body, and we have some other things we need to take care of as well. So. Should, I said we, we, should we ask the lady if she's got uh, a copy of the scroll, perhaps, before we leave? Hmm, good idea. Yeah, would she would she actually happen to, you know, I'll show her the piece. Uh, do you have a, a clean version of this to where we can inspect the, the scribe here? Well, the actual uh, document? She looks at it and she's like, I'll be right back. 
she uh, walks out of the room. About a minute later, she comes back with a scroll that looks pretty much identical to yours, except it's not burnt. You guys are on top of this, by the way. Okay. And um, she's like, I got this uh, letter um, four days ago. She um, hands it over to you. Uh, the gist of it basically says that you may be in danger and stock up on silver. Mm -hmm. But it's not yeah, said. Or anything. But it doesn't say who sent it or anything. And so basically, again, this one says three of three at the bottom. Okay, so she had gotten one. Which one does she have? She has three of three. Okay. So that wouldn't make it... Derek Golfrey got copy one of this then? That's what I'm asking her, actually. I'm sorry about that. She's like, I didn't even take this letter seriously until Morgan died. Uh, since then, I went and um, got something from the weaponsmith to protect myself. Hmm. Just to be sure. Make sure you guys get into the like, uh, point lottery. Had something on her forearm. Exclamation point Better by ticket. One word. Exclamation point by ticket. Cost you five of your XP points it to get in winner like takes all. The dagger that she's got strapped to her wrist now. Eighteen minutes left, guys, gals. Hmm. She's like unfortunate. She's like, and if you said you found this in Morgan's furnace, it was it was burnt. Yeah, I mean it's obvious. She she can see it's pretty much almost destroyed. So. And, and it has the, got the other one. you know, and it has the the scribes guild seal. That's the whole. That that's that's what I'm questioning here is. He had to have something, to do with the actual scribes guild because, if he didn't, this would not have been on here unless, the scribe the scribe was actually, hired, to do this, and we could possibly go to the scribe to find out who had done this. Well, who had actually. <laughs> commission the scribe to write these scrolls or the documents whatever you want to say so that's a good idea she says that is a possibility all right so mark that on the list too we got six places we got to go now so we got to well i had already considered the scribe as one of them so yeah okay. i got a, i got a butler to talk And he used the candlestick. <laughs> when you guys went where at Dulac's place before, you didn't see any servants there when you were there earlier? It was just the sheriff all by himself? It was the sheriff and the guard that was out front. Okay. Uh, does he have uh, any servants? Or did he? Or did they run off? He did have some, but they weren't going to get paid anymore, so they left. Um, you could probably find them in their homes. Um, um, you got a list of their names? Yeah, she she gets, she says that there's his um, head man servant named Joffrey was in a... Uh, he lives a couple houses down from him. She gives you the directions there. Alright. Well, the, sh the sheriff did say while we were at Lord Dulos that uh, that's in the crime that uh, the wounds and stuff look for by a wild animal. Uh, it's for deception, make you twitch. It's for deception. Yeah, he told you the body looked like it had been mauled by a wild animal. Okay. Was there any uh, bite marks or something like that on the body? Well, I would say that probably be the, the body to find that. yeah. That's going to be probably the next place we're going to need to go, guys. I mean, that, that's actually a pretty important piece of the puzzle. So, I would I say agree. we need to go to the morgue. I think we do need to look at the body. Well, that way we that can way. see if they've got if he still has the key on him. Also, I highly, I highly doubt that bots. We're playing a fourth edition mystery over game. Over the lips, over the gums. Look out, stomach. Here we come. <laughs> That's the See perfect dwarf. God bless it. <laughs> yep. See you guys going to the morgue, then? Absolutely. Yes, let's go to the morgue. Acrobatic tumbles all the way, too. <laughs> Combat roll, too. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, I have playtime. I'm not rolling. Sorry. All right. Uh, you guys head to the morgue. Um, it's a relatively small building. Uh, you go to the head to the main office, basically, and there's some little wiry guy that's behind the desk, and he sees you come in, and he kind of, like, jumps up and kind of, seems kind of twitching. He's like, ah, sir, sir, what can I do for you? I heard that you were in town. Oh, you heard we were in town? Yes, the, uh, Sheriff Harlow said that you may have been maybe stopping by to see the body. It's not anything that I've seen before. It's very interesting. Hmm. What do you mean by that? What kind of interest in that? He's like, come, come. I'll show you for you can see you can see for yourself. All right. He leads you into the back room, and uh, there's a um, a sheet over a body, and there's only one body in the uh, entire building. And he goes up and he just pulls it away nonchalantly, and you see that his body has been clawed up, um, and his throat's been torn out. Ooh, the old you Italian necktie. You do recognize it as it doesn't even look like it was torn up by a weapon, though. It's like savaged, ravaged. Mm. Fang or uh, tooth? It looks like there were some kind of claws that were all over his body, and it looks like a bite marks it took out his throat. Seeing that uh, I'm a like ranger, you can make a knowledge the, uh, nature check. Yeah, I was gonna say, seeing that I'm a nature, what what I what I. You know, tell that this is any particular type of beast, maybe a werewolf or anything like that. Make a nature check. I'd like to make the same check. Okay. Oh, give it to me, baby. It definitely looks like it was some kind of a wolf bite or something that was uh, on the throat. Lycanthropy. Hmm. If only Kate Beckinsale was here right now, I would let yeah. her sit right on my uh, chair beside me. Beside me. <laughs> <laughs> Faye and Zamiel, you guys don't get anything from it? Mm -mm. He's like, see, see, this is this is extraordinary. Yep. You Twelve minutes left. Excited to see something like this. What? How many people the lottery shut down? Come in here that look like Who won? Crow! And, uh, Quite a few. What the hell? This is the only one. I've never seen something like this before. <laughs> well, how come you said you seen quite a bit the same when huh. we first came in here? Well, that's weird. I wonder why that happened. Kind of looks at you funny. That's weird, guys. I'll have to so check the... Street, street smart... Uh, I'll have to check the check program afterwards. Five. Exactly, yep. micro. Hacks. Is it ominous that we've got dogs barking in the back? <laughs> what exactly did you want to know if he was lying about? That's exactly what I was saying. What she's lying about. I didn't say he was lying, lying about anything. Um, I'm not getting any wool. You're Carl, right? Yeah. Doesn't show you as being signed in to roll 20. Well, Close it out when you join. I have to rejoin. So, what, did, what was it that you, um, that he said before that tipped you off? Because I may have misspoke, basically. Well, uh, when he first saw us... I'm not going to take uh, it away. He says he's seen uh, a lot... The I mean, you guys had opportunities to get in. He's seen quite a few like that. I'm not taking it away. Now he seems like he's uh, Crow wanted. saying he didn't. Now something's wrong there. It just ended early. So. Nah, he said that he's, he's seen a lot, not a lot like this. Where'd you see it then? No, I mean, like, he's seen, like, a lot of, like, dead bodies before. But he's never seen something like this before. He's been drinking a little bit. We're he's sorry about that. I'm, I'm sure he's seen quite a few dead bodies. Yeah, our, our dwarven friend here, he's and I put my arm up on his shoulder, and I just kind of start walking him away, and I'm like, he, he's just been drinking a little bit. You'll have to pardon him. <laughs> well, he's a dwarf. Of course, he should be drinking. This. 
He's like, he's like, you can check out the body if you want <laughs> and see if there's something you guys can use. Because I'm assuming you're trying to solve this. Well, that's that's why we're here. We were uh, told by both the sheriff and also uh, Lady Varn that we were able to, well, we were given permission to uh, check the body out. If I wasn't rolled, uh, signed in on roll 20, I wouldn't be in the game. You're in roll 20 now. Yeah, you're in there now. You also see there's a rose on the table as well. Seems a out of place, this sterile area, and it's got a bright red rose there. A rose as in somebody had visited previously, maybe? I asked the actual, yeah. uh, I asked the mortician about the rose. Uh, when was this left here, basically? Lady Marcosa Cozy left this year the morning that his body was found. And who is Marcosi? It's sir? Baron's last name. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, oh, so Lady Varen. Okay. That's Lady Varen Marcosia. Okay. He says also, um, we found some bits of animal fur underneath his fingernails, and um, his sword was covered in blood, <clears throat> but it wasn't his um, at the crime scene. Can we check the blood? Is it? Ah, yes, yes, yes. He uh, walks into another room, comes back with this sword that's got dried blood on it. It's black. I, I'm going to turn back to the rest of the group and kind of speak softly. Did she not say that she has not left the house? This is kind of this is kind of funny because now there's a rose from from the actual lady, and she had said that she had not left the house because she's feared for her safety along with a uh, golfery. So I something's definitely fishy. Well, she has servants. Mm. Yeah, but the the Quarman just well, I'm sorry, the you know the. The Undertaker. Said that she was the one that left it here. Yeah, the Undertaker said that she was here. So, yeah, she's definitely not telling us the truth. So, all right. Mm -hmm. all right. She was holding some back. So, I guess we thoroughly inspect the corpse and keep. And I'm, okay. I'm going to actually hold on to the rose and probably give it back to her uh, when we go back and see her. So. Okay. Um, uh, you <laughs> see and lines if he had a necklace on that's no longer there. Not trying to sound <laughs> creepy, but we need to check his orifices, guys. I mean, just in case anything was hidden, like in ears and or mouth and whatever else. I mean, hopefully Make not. Make a perception check. All right. I'll do the same. So do I. All right. You guys find a, some more of those Check like, orifices. really <laughs> nice orcs, micro grayish brown hair <laughs> underneath his fingernails. Um, a closer look at the tan line, it does look like it's an outline of a key that was on the necklace, and there's nothing else on his body that you can find other than obviously the claw marks and the bite marks that were on him. We're talking about did he hide something? Yeah, yeah. You, you searched him thoroughly. You didn't find anything else on him. All right. How do you search him there? How, yeah, how are you searching details. him again? <laughs> well, it's called a finger. Stick one in there. Oh, my God. Make sure you wash it off afterwards so it stinks. I love it. Wise words. Right. Wise words. Don't pick your teeth. So I asked the Undertaker, was the key around his neck, uh, well, I'm sorry, the, the necklace, was it around his neck uh, after you had received the corpse, or had that been taken off previously? When I retrieved the body from his root, from his uh, premises, the, the, he didn't have a necklace on. Did he have anything on him, any belongings or anything that, that we should know about that you have here in storage? For evidence or anything? His sword that I've shown you and his torn up clothes. 
but he didn't have anything in the clothes. Okay. No other personal effects? No, he was at his house, and I wouldn't think he'd be carrying a bunch of stuff around in his dining room when it happened at night. <clears throat> okay. So what do you guys think? Where to uh, next? I think it's time to go talk to the servants. Yeah. I got a yeah. there, there were no were servants. They ran off after the murder. But the lady gave us the address of Joffrey. The head. Yeah, Two the head one. Two houses down, they say. Huh? That was the scribe Jonas. Jonah. Now she gave you directions to both of them. This is head. It was Dulac's main uh, head man servant, <coughs> Joffrey. She gave you the directions there, and then she also told you where the scribe Jonah was. A lot of J's. Let's go, uh, you guys want to go check out the Scribe first, because we, we kind of need to start putting some things together, especially with the Scribe's Guild. Well, the Scribe. Uh, we need to find out what his role in this as well, so... What okay. his role, or her. At that point, um, someone comes bursting into the coroner's office. It looks like a town guard. Won't, won't. Okay. He, sa he sees you guys there, and he actually seems relieved. Uh, he says that we found another body. Oh boy. Who's uh, booze? Sheriff Harlow. It was uh, Lady Lunette. She, um, we found her at her home. Um, we found her just moments ago, and the sheriff sent me to try to find you as well as bring the coroner back there. <clears throat> so who's Lady Lunette? And we should get there immediately before anything's taken from this corpse, guys. So we need to, like, need to, like triple, triple Paul Aster. <laughs> Yeah, we tell him to lead on. We'll we'll be back later, Mister Undertaker. He's coming with us. Yeah. He's oh yeah. The stuff he's going to, so. Oh, the Undertaker. <laughs> tombstone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. He um. <coughs> the guard leads you guys at a brisk jog to uh, Lunette's house. Her name is Lunette Rint. Um. A lot more guards are here than you've seen previously. Uh, obviously, because they just found it. He leads you into a bedroom, and uh, the sheriff is in there with a couple other guards. When you guys come in, the sheriff like nods to the other guards, and they leave. <coughs> and the sheriff's like, "Well, I'm glad that my man was able to find you guys quickly." I wonder if anybody's ask if she's naked. So let's see. If somebody asks that <laughs> she's naked, I'll give everybody in the channel five points. One of her servants. Did. But. You guys can't say anything in the channel. Don't say anything. But somebody in the game has to ask if she's naked. If somebody asks if she's naked, everybody gets five points. Well, I'll come with you. Okay. Uh, Sheriff, what's uh, Lady Lynette's uh, uh, connection to all this? Well, Lady Lynette, she's kind of a courtesan. Courtesan. Hmm. See, her throat's been ripped out, too. But it doesn't even look like she was struggling. David, don't say anything! <laughs> she enjoyed it? Yeah, you know. Oh, top-notch BDSM. Yeah, you got a little bit too far along in it. Bum, bum, bum! Nothing to do, so better she knew who it was that came in if she didn't struggle. Yeah, I think I think that uh, talking to that server uh, may be good to find out who was the last person that was uh, making her acquaintance. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You guys come? So, so got two of you guys going to the servant or all you going or... Well, let's not split up, guys. I mean, let's just work this systematically here. Oh, okay. Can we call servant here, or unless She's we're being not going to want to come into the room with her dead mistress to talk to you? Okay. There's a body look uh, just like uh, the other guy we just checked. Yeah, out. But, no, but no, but no claw marks. It's just the throat's been ripped out. Oh, check, check under the nails. I want to search her. 
Um, if you guys that are doing searches, do a perception check. 